Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch and today at its event, Panasonic launched the FZE1 Toughpad and FZX1 Toughpads. The FZE1 runs on Windows 8.1 embedded handheld and these products are actually targeted towards the enterprise segment, mostly catering towards manufacturing, defense, police, emergency services and the likes. Now if we come to specs, the FZE1 Windows 8.1 handle comes with the Snapdragon 801 quad-core processor, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, 8 megapixel and 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera. But those are not the highlights. You have a 5-inch display over here, which is readable in direct sunlight as well. A 2 times loudspeaker phone, which can be heard over all the noise in the background. You have a 6200 milliamp hour battery, and this features mil-spec 810G which means it is resistant to drops up to 10 feet and you can charge it with a 12 volt DC adapter or through the micro USB port as well and you have this grip at the back so you can hold it firmly in your hand moreover this is dust and water resistant with IP65 and IP68 rating as well now here's the Android counterpart it is running Android 4.2.2 now which is pretty dated but you have more security features built in over here you have a barcode scanner right up top as well. You can see it right there. You have a 3.5 headphone jack up top as well. Specs aren't the real thing over here, as I've said already as well. It's a durability of the device, resistance to fall, dust and water protection, readability in direct sunlight. All these features are actually more important over here. You have quick charging built in as well, so you can charge it in just one and a half hours. Now both the Toughpad FZX1 and FZE1 features similar specifications and you can extend their functionality with the port replicator. Moreover, the 6200 mAh batteries on both of these devices are hot swappable. So you can go ahead and put in a charge battery inside and the device will keep running in the background. Core services, the entire OS is kept running. There is a small battery on the inside and when you put in a charge battery and set it up again, just lock it in place. You can start right from where you left off and it locks the device just to keep it safe as well. Now this is a dual SIM device with voice calling and data support over LTE networks. Now we dropped it from a height of about one and a half to two feet, dunk it in water as well. But even after that, it kept on working. You can see that the touch screen still works and everything does work fine. I tested out the camera as well. That too worked fine even after dunking in water. Now these started rupees 1 lakh 9000 for the FZX1 running Android and rupees 1 lakh 19000 for the FZE1 running Windows. These are not catered towards the consumer segment. If you need further information about these products, head on over to phonebunch.com. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions with us in the comment section, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. And as always, have a great day.